Why is my refrigerator freezing my vegetables? That's what happens when you put them in the freezer. And if the freezer is not freezing things, check to see if the compressor is broke. Refrigerant leaked out or the ice cream in the back is blocking the vents that keep the rest of the food cold. The vegetables are freezing in the crisper and rest of the fridge. Are you putting bags of ice in the fridge for storage? That will lower the temperature in the fridge from cold to too cold. That is not the cause. If you have an ice maker in the fridge door, it can create a bubble of ice in the door, freezing things in the door. I have the opposite problem with this model, I get slushy ice because it cannot get and stay cold enough. Check the temperature controls. Someone may have turned it down without realizing it was too low. It is set on chill out, not freeze up. There's the possibility that the fridge thermometer is not that hot, actually reading too high. Then it thinks the fridge is cool when it is freezing. That's at least simple to fix in the short term by turning up the temperature, if it is reading 20 degrees off consistently. And then you fix it by replacing the thermometer. Sometimes the issue is the control board reading the thermostat. The control board is a third of the cost of the fridge. You can try altering the fridge controller settings. After all, turning on the super chill out cycle in fridges to make sure it cools down those hot leftovers fast enough can literally go too far. My fridge is not that smart. Then power cycling the fridge to fix it is less likely to actually fix it, but you can still try that. How do you power cycle a fridge? Turn it off, then back on. Or unplug it or turn off at the breaker and back on. I never thought my fridge would need the same tech support as my gaming console. If you have a fridge with thermal profiles like energy saving mode and standard mode and wine chiller settings, check that the settings are what you want. And try flipping from the current setting to another and back to try to reset them. That's a lot less of a hassle than turning the fridge off and back on. And you feel like less of an idiot for calling for service and watching the guy do the same thing, 